on September 26, 2023, a significant event unfolded at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. The eagerly awaited moment arrived as NASA unveiled the contents of a space capsule containing the most extensive asteroid sample ever collected during a space mission. This remarkable sample originated from Bennu, an asteroid with the potential to pose a hazard to Earth, effectively serving as a time capsule from the early solar system. As the lid of the sample return canister from the OSIRIS-REx mission was carefully lifted, scientists were met with an unexpected sight that left them both astonished and enthusiastic. The avionics deck of the canister was coated with a layer of dark dust and debris. Even more surprising, the sample weighed 100 grams more than what was initially anticipated, a perplexing development given that the sample had been securely stored in a sealed container throughout its journey. This raised several pressing questions. How did this enigmatic layer of black dust find its way onto the avionics deck? What was the source of this unanticipated material? Most crucially, what do scientists anticipate discovering in their comprehensive analysis of the most substantial asteroid sample ever to return to Earth? The OSIRIS-REx mission, launched on September 8, 2016, had three primary objectives. First, it aimed to collect unspoiled samples from the asteroid surface, providing essential material for scientists to scrutinize and better understand the composition of primitive asteroids. Second, the mission had the goal of characterizing the asteroid, including mapping its surface, determining its composition, and assessing its potential as a resource for future space exploration. Lastly, it focused on Earth's impact hazard assessment, particularly relevant because Bennu is classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid. On September 25, 2135, Bennu is expected to make a close flyby of Earth, and our planet's gravity will influence Bennu's trajectory making it a challenge to predict its future path. Asteroids, apart from being influenced by gravity, can also be affected by non-gravitational forces such as the Yarkovsky effect. This phenomenon occurs when sunlight strikes a rotating asteroid, causing the day side to heat up while the night side cools down and releases heat. This thermal imbalance exerts a small thrust on the asteroid, potentially altering its course over time. While the Yarkovsky effect is challenging to model precisely, it plays a substantial role in determining an asteroid's trajectory. Consequently, scientists must consider a range of potential trajectories for Bennu, as they have limited knowledge of the strength of the Yarkovsky effect. Some of these trajectories align with regions of space called gravitational keyholes. If Bennu were to pass through a keyhole, Earth's gravity could slightly alter its path potentially leading to an impact on a subsequent orbit in the late 22nd century. The odds of such an occurrence are considered low, but scientists are committed to gathering as much information as possible to enhance our understanding. The journey to Bennu was an epic voyage spanning two years and four months. On December 3, 2018, OSIRIS-REx reached its destination after traveling approximately 1.4 billion miles or 2.2 billion kilometers. Once there, the spacecraft entered orbit around the asteroid, initiating a series of surveys and mapping activities to select the optimal site for sample collection. The pinnacle of the OSIRIS-REx mission unfolded during the sample collection event on October 20, 2020. The spacecraft employed its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, TAGSAM, a robotic arm attached to the spacecraft's main body to collect a sample from the asteroid's surface and place it into the Earth return vehicle. Collecting a sample from Bennu was especially challenging given its small size and near-zero gravity. OSIRIS-REx had just one opportunity, with no room for error. During the brief nine-second contact with Bennu at a location known as Nightingale, a burst of nitrogen gas was utilized to agitate and lift surface material into the sample collection chamber. While the minimum sample size requirement was 60 grams, OSIRIS-REx impressively collected 300 grams, five times more than NASA's initial expectations. However, a hiccup emerged when some material started escaping due to a jammed flap caused by larger rocks. In order to prevent any further loss, NASA made the decision to forego the scheduled measurement of the sample and seal it for the return journey. OSIRIS-REx departed from Bennu on May 10, 2021, embarking on its journey back to Earth. After nearly two and a half years on September 24, 2023,
the spacecraft reached Earth's vicinity and released a capsule containing the asteroid sample. As the capsule entered Earth's atmosphere at a speed of 12 kilometers per second, a parachute was deployed to facilitate a controlled descent. The capsule ultimately landed safely at the Utah Test and Training Range, where it was recovered by NASA personnel. Upon opening the sample return canister at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, scientists were greeted with an intriguing and somewhat unexpected sight. The first thing that caught their attention was a layer of dark powder and sand-sized particles on the avionics deck of the sample canister. It appeared highly likely that this material originated from Bennu, as it not only coated the interior of the canister but also extended to its exterior, including the avionics deck housing crucial electronics. This raised the pertinent question of how this dust and debris found its way onto the avionics deck in the first place. According to NASA, when OSIRIS-REx briefly made contact with Bennu, it generated a shock wave that propagated across the asteroid's surface, leading to the expulsion of certain materials into space. Some of this material trailed behind OSIRIS-REx as it retreated from Bennu, adhering to the spacecraft's outer surfaces. Additionally, a portion of it entered the sample canister through the open flap, mixing with the material gathered by TAGSAM. The combined mass of the sample, including the dust and debris, amounted to approximately 400 grams, surpassing the requirements for scientific goals. Fortunately, it was reported that the sample remained in excellent condition due to minimal exposure to high temperatures or contamination during the return journey. Nonetheless, the presence of dust and debris on the avionics deck presented a unique challenge. It necessitated careful handling and cleaning by the scientists, who employed specialized tools and techniques. Their goal is to remove the dust and debris from the deck without causing any harm to the electronics or risking the loss of any sample material. Additionally, they must meticulously document and catalog each fragment of dust and debris, as these components are integral to the sample inventory. This sample return mission is a historic milestone in our exploration of space. But why do space agencies invest billions of dollars in studying these seemingly insignificant space rocks, which are scarcely half a mile wide? The answer lies in the fact that asteroids act as time capsules, preserving materials from the early solar system when the planets were still forming. Asteroids are composed of the same materials as planets, but have not undergone the geological processes like plate tectonics that have altered the Earth's surface over billions of years. Therefore, they hold a record of the early solar system that is otherwise absent on Earth. One particularly exciting discovery is the presence of various organic molecules on asteroids, which are believed to be the building blocks of life. This suggests that the ingredients necessary for life were present in the early solar system. An excellent example of this is the carbonaceous asteroid Ryugu. In 2020, the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa, two returned samples from Ryugu to Earth. Scientists have since analyzed these samples and found a variety of organic molecules, including amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins essential for life. This finding opens up the possibility that the components necessary for life may have been delivered to Earth via asteroids in its early history. The next phase of the OSIRIS-REx mission, now renamed OSIRIS-APEX, will concentrate on studying the asteroid Apophis. Apophis is a near-Earth asteroid with a diameter of roughly 1,100 feet 340 meters, and is of particular interest due to its close approach to Earth in 2029. It is estimated to have a 1 in 150,000 chance of impacting Earth in 2068. OSIRIS Apex is scheduled to arrive at Apophis in April 2029, shortly after its close approach to Earth. During its 18-month mission at Apophis, the spacecraft will use its instruments to capture images, map the asteroid, analyze its composition, and measure its size and shape. This mission is a critical step in our understanding of near-Earth objects and the potential threats they pose to our planet. The data collected will significantly contribute to our ability to protect Earth from potential asteroid impacts. In recent space exploration news, the James Webb Space Telescope made a groundbreaking discovery regarding Arendelle, the most distant single star ever observed. This discovery offers profound insights into the universe's ancient history, as Arendelle resides at the edge of time. If you missed the details of this discovery, 
be sure to catch up on this fascinating finding.